Um, anyway, yeah. moving on, Sean. Yeah. To our next topic. Um, I want to talk about Jurassic World, given that we're on franchises. Uh. And I think it's been leaked or very heavily rumored, or at least we've seen it in different news sources, that the next Jurassic World film being directed by Gareth Edwards of Rogue One fame is called Jurassic World Rebirth. Mm. You groaned, Sean. <laughs> you groaned. <laughs> well, we've, we, I think we've spoken about Jurassic, the Jurassic World franchise on this podcast very briefly before in a, a, another episode. And if you know me, you know that I'm a massive fan of the original trilogy, even Jurassic Park 3. Some people say Jurassic Park 2 is even worse than Jurassic Park 3. I disagree. It's actually a brilliant movie. I grew up on those films and I loved them. And Jurassic World, the original uh, Jurassic World, the first one, um, was very exciting for me. I think it... It tugged on my heartstrings a little bit in certain elements, but overall it was an okay movie. And then it just descended into Fast and Furious. Do you know what I find ironic about Jurassic World? Mm. The bigger and better creating the bigger park of Jurassic World is also the same problem that the film has. And the franchise What, trying to has. go bigger and better? Yeah, yeah, so they don't learn from the message of the no. film itself. No, they don't. It's really weird. They, they should <laughs> have a contained story again. So I, I heard on the grapevine that the tone and direction they want to go for on this film is rise of the planet of the apes trilogy vibes with that atmosphere and the deterioration of the world into jurassic world as in actual jurassic so, world so so it's the, darker it's, it's the world getting reborn into the jurassic period basically with the dinosaurs everywhere and people getting destroyed and stuff i like i like that i like that if the tone is the same. And then they, the, but I doubt they're going to go with that the, tone. The other one, which scares me even more, because I, I quite like that idea. That's probably what I would go for. Because you can't just have part, another but, park and but, another but island. But the thing is, the success like of those Jurassic World movies hinged on its tone. And that, that tone was Fast and Furious. Action. Are people well, being so, amazed? So your, so your worry is that because it was a billion dollar... It, they, that, each they're going to be scared to go for a different be, tone. Yeah. yeah. But I think a critical reception of them yeah they they know they have to veer off in a different tone and the fact that it's called rebirth kind of hints towards that, that the other t- the one i heard they might go for though is the one that we heard years ago where they would like, like splice people with dinosaur dna and that's the one that sounds fast and furious oh, for with me sake. <laughs> I, I remember i remember we reaction. were at school when that that was and that we was actually that. made a podcast when we were in school it trying was. To try, we did we one tried episode. to talk about it. We did one episode and because we Because we also it. tried to... We, d- we created a we Facebook also... page called Legend Reviews. Yeah, we tried and to we think po- of... I posted like a little yeah. uh, blog about we that news. Of, I think we did the X-Men First Class trailer as well, if I remember right. But, yeah, we did, but, yeah. Um, yeah, geez, that was bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please don't t- do that. It sounds like a terrible idea. Because there was concept art, wasn't there, back there in the was, day? There was, there was. And if you, you see it, there's like human-dinosaur hybrids. And we were, even at the time, I was like, "What the hell is they, this?" They did that in Primeval, the TV, the shitty yeah, TV it was show. A bad idea. It was a bad idea. So don't. But um, this is being. I have faith in Gareth Edwards. Yes, because he, he created Rogue, the best Star Wars movie but, since Disney got a hands of it. But Legend says somebody else kind of helped with that. Oh really? Yeah, there was someone else, like a producer, I think, that might have partially directed or something. Well, but a lot he, was he cut. Did, he did Godzilla, didn't he? Um, he did do Godzilla, yeah. Um, and that had the dark has tone he even, as well. Has he even done a film since then? I just want to double check. Yeah, he, he did, did do one, didn't he? Yeah, um, he did. Um, Gareth Edwards. Um, let's have a quick look. Oh. I was surprised he went down this route and he wanted to do a Jurassic World film. He did um, Suicide Squad, didn't he? Because... Um, not, the, not the newest one, obviously. Not James Gunn, but the other Suicide no, Squad. No, no, no. No. Um, he did, let's have a look, director, The Creator recently. That was oh, the only film he did sorry, since yeah, Rogue One. Confused. Did you see The Creator? I didn't. I've heard no, it's good, though. Damn, I, I, wish, I wish I went to see it, but I didn't. It's on Netflix, though, I think. Yeah, it is. Um, but he's only done Monsters, Godzilla, Rogue One, Creator. So he's done, his, his track record is really good. I think it's good, yeah. And I have faith in him. Yeah, and I, I have. think he will be... All of those you're movies a lot, have, you're getting has a, a you're good, good tone few to it as well. Of these, you're getting a good few filmmakers come through now that now that we've 
we're entering a kind of post legacy sequel age i think where people are trying to be a bit more faithful like Fede Alvarez with Alien Romulus mm. and the Prey director yeah. and stuff like that so yeah. I'm hoping it'll be a bit it'll better. harken back to the originals yeah I mean if if you search uh, I think it's confirmed that uh, Scarlett Johansson is going to be the main actress in this cast and that also Mahershala Ali is the guy that's going to be the new Blade that was oh, in okay. uh, Moonlight yeah I think he's uh, confirmed as well for me, Scarlett ha- Johansson just, just she pops oh, out he, as a superstar now. So, so Scarlett Johansson, Jonathan Bailey, who's from Bridgerton, Mahershala Ali, Rupert Friend, who's good, a kind of good kind of caric- character actor. Yeah. And the other ones are kind of young actors and actresses that I haven't heard of. Scarlett Johansson to me just seems like the odd one out there. She seems when I think of Scarlett Johansson now, despite her having a good track record of good movies she is she's, she's she, a superhero she is the most successful actress of all time really that's that's impressive i mean but for so me we, i just think of i just think of black widow when i see her now yeah i know but she was also she's also a very kind of oscar caliber actor as well she's been in her she's been in lost in translation yeah. she was in ever since from a young don john age <laughs> with jason Gordon <laughs> she was just in one with channing tatum called fly me to the moon that i think yeah i haven't seen that I, I don't but know but she's been in um asteroid city as well that new um oh what's he called grand budapest hotel director oh i don't yeah um, i haven't heard really it. getting on my nerves asteroid city uh, she was also in marriage Wes story. anderson she was uh, yeah she was in marriage yeah, story so with adam driver I, well. I think she's oscar caliber yeah so it in, depends yeah, doesn't it i think the problem they had with I want to hear what the synopsis. you might be thinking of is the yeah. Which, I want to hear the synopsis first. Is they, there a, is there a synopsis? They haven't released a synopsis. I don't think just yet. No, it'll be at the top if it. Um, uh, no, no, no. Um, Jurassic World. 4 Does it have a logo? As, no, it's got a fan made one. I uh, think uh, Jurassic World Four slash Rebirth. We think it's going to be called. But they changed they, they, they need to they get rid of they need to get rid of four to disassociate it. Oh, well, I the, don't know. The four. Others, the other, it's just as in that's what because it hasn't fully been confirmed that Rebirth is the title. Sure, yeah, surely it would be seven. No, but you know Jurassic World. Oh, Jurassic, Jurassic World. Park, sorry, one, yeah. two, three. Then yeah, they true. switched to Jurassic World. Jurassic yeah. World. Jurassic World. Domin- Fallen Kingdom, and then Dominion. And I still haven't seen Dominion. my only problem. I still haven't seen Dominion. My only problem is that. That just sounds to me like they're they're going to be continuing the story of the Jurassic World uh, franchise, I, I and I think they just need to get. R- forget well, what about would you it. call it then? Jurassic. Potentially, or just change it, change change it again from park and world to to something else. I don't know. Jurassic City. No, <laughs> no. Don't let Sean title films, um, please. I don't know. Um, Rise of the Planet of the Dinosaurs. Cretaceous. Cr- uh, cr- um, Cretaceous. Cr- Cretaceous, yeah, something, 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 no, something that is Jurassic, do you think, but disassociates it from Jurassic World. Do you franchise. think um, Steven Spielberg envisioned Jurassic Park 7 when he was doing the first film? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. going to be like, it's like Back to the Future when it says Jaws 15, but it's, uh, yeah, but it's Jurassic Park. I don't know. There, there it is one of those ones that I think I used to love so much, but it's just become a bit of a, I was dead cow that's when, when, when Jurassic World was announced and the trailer came out I remember I was at uni and I was wait I was counting down the days and then someone leaked the Jurassic World um, uh, trailer online early and jo- Colin Trevorrow posted on Twitter um, he was like uh, parks opened early fuck uh, it and he just he just put the trailer he just released the trailer uh, and I was so excited and then I was so disappointed I feel bad for Colin Trevorrow because he did Jurassic World and he was meant to do episode 9 of Star Wars and his but script of episode 9 was, was great. amazing I've read it yeah it yeah. was called Jewel of the Fates wasn't oh, it, it was so and good. I and then they gave it back to J.J. Abrams man ah uh, and then they've gone the other way this time and given I like J.J. Abrams but he fucked in episode 9 but then to be fair um, if we're thinking about Colin uh, Trevorrow as well, um, let me just get his. He did do Jurassic World Dominion, which you didn't like. No, and I, ha- I haven't I seen it. it. I haven't seen it. So I he did. It. So he did do that. So maybe we don't necessarily feel bad for him. Uh, he did. Let's have a look at direct. It, yeah, the last film he did was Jurassic World Dominion. So. I, I kind of feel sorry for him because he probably was heavily uh, uh, pushed. Pushed. By the studio and producers to create a action 
film yeah. rather than a he's Jurassic got a f- he's got film. a film coming out called Halcyon which is going to be his own thing I think so. right I'll be interested to see his own thing because his, his other own thing was um uh, I, I can't remember what it was called but it was like a time travel looper no no that was uh, no it was an was independent f- film um I'll tell you now because I've got his stuff up uh I think it was safety not guaranteed. That's it. That's it. Yeah, one and a half hours. And he went a, straight. Cool to be fair, film. he went straight from that to Jurassic to Jurassic yeah. World. Yeah, so. and that's why I was so excited because he was an indie guy in the yeah. <laughs>